I'm Johnny. Now, I've done a whole lot of political videos. What is it time for? Macrame? Ooh. It's time for scheming. So I've been working on this super secret project and I've been like slowly eking out details to all my patrons. But this super secret project is actually consisting of three parts. I want to talk to you about the first one because it's written in the programming language named Scheme. Programming languages? Boring! The thing is, Scheme is a programming language with a very rich history, a very rich culture, and is a very expressive language. In fact, Scheme is descended from Lisp, which, as far as computer languages go, I mean, we're talking, like, deep in the past. Okay, but not everybody watching this is going to be a computer programmer. But hopefully I can explain why I love this language so much that you can understand it. You can understand what makes this language beautiful, what makes writing code in this language beautiful. But I'm hoping that what gives it that quality without a name really comes through. A program is basically a whole bunch of instructions that you tell a computer to make the computer do stuff. But there's more to it because a program also contains data about how that program should display stuff like icons or text and even data like what you did in that program and even data like what happens when you clicked on that little floppy disk icon in the corner and it saved everything. Now, in most programming languages, this divide between code, the instructions and data is very, very sharp. Code is code, data is data. Scheme, on the other hand, is different. Let's start off with what these instructions look like because a scheme expression or instruction basically all take the same form. A parentheses, the thing you're doing, the thing you're doing it to, and then a closing parenthesis. Sexy time. It's one giant list. But here's the thing, scheme, and Lisp deal with lists like this, with these all these parentheses, natively, everything is a list. So there's a lot of inbuilt ways for you to manipulate these lists and work with them. If you want to express a list of items inside a scheme, it follows the same format of a parenthesis, item, 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 and then a closing parenthesis. That's just how it's done. The way code and data reads is very similar. So code can be data, and data can be code. But wait, there's more. Because code is data, you can write more code to transform your code. The scheme makes that really easy to do with something called hygienic macro transformations. Only the hyper nerds amongst you are really gonna care about that. But they're super neat and they're super worth exploring. Now there's something else about scheme that I particularly enjoy, and that it's minimal. I mean, like bobbin in a German warehouse minimal. There's this joke all about the fact that the, the whole scheme language specification can fit inside of the same number of pages to the common Lisp hyper specification index. It's super tiny. You can consume it in like an afternoon easily. But this minimalism, along with the language's ability to write and consume itself, really makes Scheme a tool not for building computer programs and more for building specific computer languages to build computer programs. And then there's continuations. Now look, I just finished telling you that Scheme is not so much a programming language, but a programming language that you use to write code to help you make a new programming language that writes its own code. So continuations are even more, are even more of a head f are even more mind blowing. They're basically a primitive building block that you can use to create your own control structures like exception handlers and backtracking operators. And okay, look, 
if I were to try to explain continuations to my entire audience, we would be here all day. And by the time I was done, we'd all be bored to tears. Continuations along with macros give you the flexibility to build the computer language that you need, that you want, that solves your individual problem. I hope this particular rabbit hole maybe opened your eyes to uh, why I like Scheme. And this gives you a little bit of insight into a programming language that I really enjoy and I'm really passionate about because I find it beautiful and wonderful to work with. So until next time, parentheses are fun.